Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many developers encounter when working with JavaScript modules. Our viewer asks, how can I circumvent Require.js to load a module with a global? Let's break down the issue. The viewer is trying to load a JavaScript file from a bookmarklet, but the file is wrapped in a module pattern that doesn't play nicely with Require.js. This can lead to complications when trying to access the global variable defined in the module. To work around this, the viewer temporarily sets the define function to null, loads the script, and then restores define to its original state. While this approach works, it raises concerns about altering global variables that other parts of the application might rely on. So is there a, there a better way to handle this situation? Let's explore some alternative strategies that could provide a more robust solution without risking global variable conflicts. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. on. To circumvent Require.js when loading a module with global variables, we need to understand how the module is structured. The module checks if it's running in a node or AMD environment, and if not, it assigns the exported value to a global variable. In your case, when using Require.js, the module won't export a global variable. To work around this, you can temporarily set the define function to null before loading the script. This allows the script to execute without interference from Require.js. Here's how you can implement this in your load script function. First, create a script element and set its source to the URL of your module. Then, check if Require.js is present and adjust the define variable accordingly. After the script loads, ensure to reset the define variable back to its original state. This prevents any unintended side effects on other parts of your application that may rely on Require.js. While this method works, it's important to consider potential issues with changing global variables. A safer approach could involve using a different loading mechanism or a module loader that supports both AMD and global exports. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To load a module with global variables while circumventing Require.js, you can fetch the script using XML HTTP request, jQuery.ajax, or the Fetch API. After fetching, you can manipulate the script and reassign the define function. There are two main options for this. Option one is to export a global by wrapping the script with a specific function structure. Option two involves handling module exports yourself by using a different wrapping function. Finally, you can load the modified script using a new script element, but be aware of potential cores issues when using XHR.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To load a module with a global object while circumventing Require.js, one effective method is to use an iframe. This allows the script to run in an isolated context, avoiding cores issues. Here's a code snippet that demonstrates this technique. It creates an iframe, loads the script, and then copies the global object to the parent window. The method is memory safe, as deleting the iframe does not cause leaks. However, only the last instance of the global variable will be retained. If you don't know the name of the exported object, you can adapt the code to copy any new global objects after loading the script. This is useful for modules that export multiple variables. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Choosing the right method to load a module with global depends on your project's needs. One approach is to temporarily undefine the define function, but this is not safe and can lead to issues. Another method is to wrap your script to locally undefined define. This can work for simple cases, but can cause problems with dependencies, especially if different versions of libraries are involved. Using Require.js context is a safer option. You can create a unique context for your bookmarklet, allowing you to load scripts and their dependencies without conflicts. Lastly, consider using Webpack to bundle your AMD modules. This allows you to export your module as a global, simplifying the loading process. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To load a module without using a global variable, consider structuring your scripts directory with subfolders like AMD and require. This way, you can check the URL for these keywords in your load script method. For example, you can use a simple conditional to determine the loading method based on the URL. This avoids the need for global variables and improves your app structure. Alternatively, you could return an object with properties indicating the script type, but the first method is quicker and requires less code. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.